Miss Rachel Thompson. And I'm standing here amongst the relics of our ancestors who came to these islands that is commonly known now today as the Bahama Islands. And I want to tell a story, a story that we have seen for decades now, but for most of us, we have forgotten and relay that story to what is actually occurring today. Most of us is familiar with the animation, The Lion King. So I wanna give a brief history of The Lion King and how that's relatable to our situation today. And I wanna encourage everyone to go back into that. The writer of that movie, it came out of a black mind. The Lion King begins with a black king who ruled over the jungle. He had a son, his name was Simba, and he had a brother. When his brother, who was jealous of him, created the ways and means in which the king found his demise, the only threat to the brother taking the throne was the king's young son, Simba. He created ways and means in which now Simba would have to flee for his life far out of the kingdom. When Simba leaves the kingdom on the run, for fear of the brother who was usurped the rightful heir to the throne what begins to occur now is Simba loses all knowledge of himself as long as Simba was in the environment that he grew up in under his father's guidance he operated in that lion nature having that lion character but when he is far removed he began to operate according to the animals of the land in which he was banished to so he acted like a pig. Imagine a lion acting as a pig. He tried to fly as the bird. He began to mimic every animal to such a degree that the animals began to look at him and laugh. Why did the animals laugh at him? Because they saw and they knew in him this mighty nature. But because of the lack of knowledge of Simba of himself, as a mighty lion he had grown into, they realized that he was no threat. But one day, the baboon came the Simba and the baboon is very important in the mythology of the African. The baboon was a depiction of the Ibis who was the record keeper who brings everything back to the knowing or our remembrance and he takes Simba one day and takes him to a pool of water and tell him look into it. A Simba looks into this pool of water for the first time after many many years of banishment instantly his memory returns but when his memory returns Simba doesn't stay in the condition of banishment that he found himself in that took away his understanding of himself his identity immediately that knowledge that was restored compelled Simba in which Simba immediately runs back to where he know he is the rightful heir and his kingdom and when he gets there a battle ensues and he is the winner. Family, review that information about Simba. That is a depiction of we as black people who has lost all knowledge of themselves coming to these areas. We have an inheritance that we must claim in this land and everywhere we have been scattered. But it cannot be properly claimed until our identity is restored. We of the sovereign kingship Davidic throne administration is here to begin the process of the restoration of our knowledge. And once that is restored, we must, as men, not spineless jelly back men, but with a backbone, divine backbone, take what is our own. This is our inheritance no one else those of you that are causing division among us with these various identities that has our people divided understand that we see and we know you and we will not tolerate any division in this year fight we are at war and at war as one of our ancestors said by all means necessary we intend to restore back our identity and take our inheritance. Thank you.